hey guys welcome to my channel today so uh, i recently flew i'm domestically in kenya and a couple of you guys were asking me questions about the flight what you need how much it is and uh yeah i thought i should do a video for you guys um just to give you more insights about flying in kenya and uh, yeah what you need to know what you should do what you shouldn't do so first of all you have to know that traveling in kenya flying in kenya is actually not expensive um, it's not more than 10,000 when you're flying in the country depending on where you're going Yeah um, And depending on the season it is for flying sometimes the rates are a little bit higher sometimes a little bit lower So yeah, it's really not expensive. So basically when you fly you, know, um, you don't need so much when you're flying locally in Kenya All you need to have is your ID and your ticket the one you've booked with here are my top things to do when you're traveling on a plane um, domestically in Kenya. The first one is a uh, seat next to the window. Book a seat next to the window um, because they had such an awesome experience. You will view Kenya or Nairobi from the sky and it is so beautiful. If you're not sitting next to the window, then you'll have to like, you know, struggle, which is not appropriate. But if you're right next to the window, it is such an awesome view of Nairobi from the sky. And when you're up in the clouds and you're looking at the clouds, oh my god, that was dope. The second tip that I have for you guys is uh, carry a book. Maybe you're used to flying and uh, it's not a big deal for you. So just carry a book with you and so that you can just read. Before you know it, you have already arrived where you are going. And uh, yeah, it will keep you busy and it's something positive to do. So another tip is to carry a movie. That you can watch on your laptop or on your phone or download a playlist on your phone so that you know have your earphones on because it's kind of noisy in the plane so yes if you have your earphones on you're set yeah even if you're just observing the um earth from the sky it is just good because you've blocked out the noise and you're just in your own zone and it just feels so good The fourth tip I have for you guys is um, carry your own food. Um, yeah, because food in the plane is actually quite expensive. And I don't think it's worth it because uh, it's about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. But if you if you want to buy your own food, well and good. But if you want to save some cash, just uh, buy your own food and carry it. Yes, so mm -hmm. that's a tip. <laughs> yeah, but uh, if you want to buy food in the plane, it's okay. I mean... It's only 30 minutes away anyway. So the other tip I have for you is go to the toilet before you board the plane. Um, cause uh, you may be a nervous wreck, especially if it is your first time. You may just find yourself like you are just a nervous wreck. So and you may <laughs> you may urinate on yourself. I have a pal who like who was so scared and she urinated on herself. So to avoid that, just go to the loo before you go on the plane. But they they actually lose on the plane, so you can just you know go in the plane when you when in case you feel like going to the loo. But that's just a tip. Yes. Another thing I have for you guys is uh, only pack the essentials, cause most of the time you pack a lot and you won't even use what you're packing. So yeah, just learn to pack what you're gonna use. So that it saves you a lot because you're not supposed to carry more than 10 kgs. If you carry more than 10 kgs, you're charged. So be wise when you're packing. Like for example, pack um one trouser and three tops so that you can just interchange the tops and wash the trouser. Um like one you can carry like three trousers, right? And um six or ten tops. Another thing you might want to do, guys, is wear sandals when you're um flying because um, first of all, when you're being checked at the, at the airport, you're going to have to remove your shoes. If you don't want the hassle of removing your shoes and putting them back on, just carry your sandals. That's something I did. I had my shoes on and when they were checking, I had to like open the laces and things like that. And some white people just had like some sandals and uh, just remove the sandals, which was not even hard for them. So yeah, and also when you're in the plane, you may just want your feet to just breathe. So yeah, I'd advise you to carry sandals instead of wearing closed shoes. Another thing you'd like to do is just take pictures. I know it looks weird when you're on a plane and you're taking pictures. You know, guys, uh, it looks like 
yo am shamba ama yo too much mgeni joka chule what's wrong with you but you don't you shouldn't care about them save the memories because yeah it's awesome i think it's worth taking the pictures for yourself and another tip i have for you guys is a uh, wear lightly wear cleverly like don't wear um a jumpsuit or clothes that is hard to open in case you wanna go to the loo wear something like a top and a trouser or a top and a what is this called what is this called this thing called ah you get what i'm trying to say yeah so in case you wanna go to the loo you don't have to start opening from up struggling and then the zipper's a problem you have to go down again then you have to close this is a hassle when you get to the airport they give you something like this Oh, I go in the clutch. This was our flight A40. Uh, this is what you're gonna go with inside the plane. Um, yeah, you show this and your ID when you're about to board the plane. I'll be by your side. We'll keep the fire burning. I'll never... It has the information of your seat number and all that. Yeah, Jumbo Jet was this one. This is Jumbo Jet. This is Flight 540. Which one do you think is cute? Anyway, that's beside the point. You can either go and book in the offices or you can go and book online. I, um, I booked online. When I was going, I went to Jumbo Jet. When I was coming back, I came back with a Flight 540. Both are kind of okay, but there's also Kenya Airways. And uh, the silver stone. So it depends on which one you want to fly with. I loved my experience with Jumbo Jet and Fly 540. Jumbo Jet was dope. So, um, <laughs> okay, well, they didn't give us anything to eat. Yeah, but uh, I just liked the plane. It was comfortable. I mean, it was 40 minutes. I traveled from Nairobi to Kisumu. Yeah, they were just friendly. Uh, the air hostesses were friendly. They were awesome. And uh, the flight was just dope and when you're flying with fly with jumbo jet um you have to be at the at the airport 40 minutes before time otherwise you're gonna be left so yeah 40 minutes before time you should be there already when you're flying with fly 40 you should be there 30 minutes before time and at fly 40 they give us uh water and uh biscuits That was so nice since a jumbo jet were not given anything we just had to sort ourselves out and there are rules that you have to follow so when you when you book your ticket or when you uh, you book it online or when you go to book it at the offices they actually give you a list of rules that you're supposed to follow yeah so um it includes um the amount of luggage you're supposed to carry like you're not supposed to carry things over 10 kgs yeah so your bag should be more than 10 kg if it is more than 10 kg you're gonna be charged so i'd advise if you don't want to be charged just pack things wisely don't over pack for example you can pack one trouser and uh, like three tops so that you can interchange that is it for me guys i hope you really really like this video if you did please kindly show me some love i'm giving it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe below leave your comment and i love you so 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 much I...